Usborne is probably best known for their nonfiction, and they have a wide variety of nonfiction for older readers. They have math books, science, language, art, history. Uh, so the first one I want to show you is called See Inside Great Cities. This is one of my favorite um, uh, nonfiction books that Usborne makes. It's a great kind of mix of history, um, geography, architecture. So it goes inside um, great cities, everything from Sydney to Istanbul, Paris. Um, so it talks about the culture of the city, transportation, um, history, um, famous buildings, sites to see. Um, and it kind of shows you inside some of those famous buildings. Um, so London, see inside St. Paul's Cathedral. Um, so much information in this book and it's uh, really fun. It's presented in such a fun way so your child won't even really know that they're learning, but they are. Live the Flap um, Computers and Coding is a great uh, newer book that we have at Osborne. Um, coding and knowing about computers is such a great thing for kids to learn. Um, it'll help them later in life, it'll help them in school, it'll help them get a job. <laughs> so it's just um, such a uh, vital subject. Um, so it starts really simple. What's a computer? What is coding? Um, so what is hardware? If you can touch it, it's hardware. Um, so it just keeps it really simple. Um, what is software? Software may be stored on disks inside of the computer itself. Um, so it talks about um, the different components um, of a computer. Uh, it talks about binary code. So um, this is how people count and this is how a, a computer would um, count. So uh, just a really important subject for kids to know um, and it's presented in a really easy to read fun way. Osborne has uh, some great science books and this is one of my favorites. It's 100 Things to Know About Science. Um, so it uh, talks about everything from atoms to um, the human body, space, um, animals, uh, and it's presented in a really easy to read way. Um, some great illustrations um, in this book. Um, so keeps it really simple, really easy, um, and really fun. One of my favorite art books that uh, Usborne makes is uh, the Usborne Book of Famous Paintings. And this book is a work of art in itself. It's completely gorgeous. Um, so let me show you inside. It talks about um, uh, different paintings. It talks about um, the inspiration behind them. Um, just different uh, kind of art techniques. Um, history behind them. Um, it also has these great fold-out flaps. Let me find one of those for you. Um, so these huge fold-out flaps, you can see Monet's water lilies, um, you know, in uh, bigger form. Tells you all about it. Um, the art tells you about the artist, where it was uh, painted, um, where it is now. So um, this is one of my favorite art books. It's really, uh, really pretty. Uh, a great history book uh, is Time Traveler. Uh, it goes into medieval times, the Viking Age, the Roman world, and uh, ancient Egypt. So it tells you uh, your first journey into time. So your first your journey into time is uh, visiting the medieval times. Um, and it'll say, uh, you know, who you'll meet there. Um, and then there's just so much information in this book and these gorgeous illustrations. So your journey to a castle. Um, inside the castle walls. Um, so then uh, the next journey is uh, to uh, the Vikings. So it tells you all about Vikings. Um, this book is kind of like a storybook, but tons and tons of uh, history in this book. So um, those are all of the nonfiction for older readers that I wanna show you. I hope you see something here that um, the kids in your life will love. Um, it just let me know their interests. We have uh, tons and tons of nonfiction uh, for older readers. So. Whatever your kid's interested in, I can almost guarantee we have a book for that.